This is Eric from the University of St. Augustine for Health Sciences Library. This video will show you how to utilize the PubMed database, a database that indexes over 28 million articles from the biomedical literature. In order to access PubMed, you can go to the library's homepage at library.usa.edu. Then choose Resources and Databases to get to this page. You can access PubMed through the link under the Medicine subject headings, scrolling down to PubMed and using this link here. Or, because it's so commonly accessed, we have an Easy Access PubMed button at the very top. Just choose one of those links and you'll be brought to the PubMed search screen. From here, we can do a keyword search. It's best to avoid words like of or the or words that don't have much content and stick to nouns that indicate the content of your search. For example, we're going to do stroke, rehabilitation, and occupational therapy. Click search and will be brought to a list of results. This results list you can see um, has a list of article titles, each of which shows the basic citation information for that article as well as a snippet from the abstract. You can click the title and you'll be brought into a detailed record that shows the full abstract as well as any full text links here. You'll see here the University of St. Augustine Library full text access link. By clicking that link, you'll return to the library's resources and the journal subscriptions that the library provides in order to access the full text. Returning to our results list, the next important filter is the date filter. So this allows you to limit the results of your search by publication date. So this is essentially a slider bar, and I can slide that to indicate whatever um, whatever window of search I would like to. So for example, if I want to limit to only articles published since 2015, I can move the slider there, and you'll see my, my search uh, results are limited and sifted for only those dates. There's also a one year, five year, 10 year sort of quick button that will allow you to filter those um, immediately without having to worry about the slider bar. So now we've limited to only it within articles published within the last year. The next thing is the full text and free full text availability limiters. Um, by selecting those, you'll, you can limit your search to only those that do include full text. I would encourage you to use those um, cautiously though, because there might be a very important article uh, that should be included in your literature search that isn't immediately available as full text. And I'd hate for you to miss that. Um, do be aware that if you, the full text isn't immediately available, you can access it through interlibrary loan by contacting your librarian at library at usa.edu. We've also got an article type limiter here. So this will limit according to the study type or pub document publication type. So you can see we've got clinical trials, meta-analyses, systematic reviews, um, randomized control trials. So you can limit your search uh, to only the types of studies that you're, that you're wanting to look at. The last limiter I wanna mention is the uh, language filter here. So many students um, speak multiple languages and PubMed does in index languages um, well beyond English. However, um, it's not useful to request an article that's published in Portuguese if you don't, if you don't speak Portuguese. So you can choose only the languages that are useful to you. Um, if you if you read English and German, you can choose English and German um, and remove those for for the languages that you don't speak. If you'd like to add additional languages, you can choose additional filters here. Choose the language limiters, and then you can select any languages that might be useful to you. Click show and then be sure that those are selected in that list there. So that's the basics of accessing um, 
and searching the, the PubMed database. This is a very useful tool that you'll return to again and again, uh, doing your clinical li literature searches for um, many of your classes. If you have any questions about searching PubMed or about library resources, you can contact a librarian at library at usa.edu.